Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam. Today I am back and we are reviewing, give me one second to find it in my bag of many palettes, the Park Ave Princess palette. Um, I got this for my birthday from Ashley. I don't even know if that was focused. Was that, is it focused? Is it focused? Well, here's the inside. It's really nice. I got it for my birthday from Ashley. The inside is really nice. It's basically like six, I think, one, two, three, four, six shades, two like highlighty banana powder or whatever shades. Then there's like a cool tone um, contour shade as well as some different bronzer shades. So let's get right into it. They're all powders, by the way, just a disclaimer. All right, so let's get right into this. No, it makes sense. You're just something special. Can I be something that's worth your time? You keep throwing glances. I don't catch those feelings every time. The cheekbones, that skin tone, your hands on your hips, and my eyes on your lips. And I'm sorry, but I cannot help but stare. Looking at me from way over there. So, right now, I have on my face the um, All Nighter Foundation in the shade 1.0. The Shape Tape Concealer in the shade, I think it's Fair Neutral. Let me check on that just so I know I'm not wrong. Yeah, Fair Neutral. And the Fit Me Powder in the shade 5. Um, basically where I like to start, I like to start with like a contour and then I go in with a bronzer over it. So we're going to take the shade Carrot, which is this one right here. And we're gonna kind of bring that into our cheekbones. And we're just using this huge fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. It's brush number one. It's like the all over the face bronzer brush. But we're using it as a contour brush today. It's fine. We're using it as an everything brush today. So we're gonna just take that cool tone because we don't wanna have too warm of a tone, but we also don't want too cool of a tone on our face. Right off the bat, my first instinct is this brush is probably not the best one to use so we'll go with a little bit of a smaller brush and this is also very pigmented I've noticed so we're gonna go back in with that same shade with a little bit of a smaller brush that's a lot better actually okay then we're gonna take princess cut which is the shade next to it and it's just um it's just a warmer tone and it's, we're going to use it as our bronzer right over top of it. All right, so that looks good. I'm going to do that to the other side, and then I'll show you how I use the rest of my face and these shades. All right, so now that I did that, we have the nice, like, warm and cool tones on both sides. I am a fan of this palette so far. It's really pigmented, which I like. It doesn't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, it doesn't powder out. I know there's a word for it. I just can't think of it right now. But now I'm going to do, like, my forehead area and my jawline with... Probably with angle because this is the color that I think would work best for my skin tone It's like this orangier color and we might mix it with a little bit of crown just to kind of cool it down a little bit Yeah, we're gonna mix it with a little crown because this is a bit orange for me So now we're gonna take just a little bit of crown over it just layer that on top and it looks a little gross right now but like I feel like it might blend out well let's find out maybe not maybe I was wrong let's go in with the bigger brush to try to blend it because I feel like it's a little bit denser a little bit better for blending okay those are my hairs getting in the way of me blending okay that's a lot better we're getting a blend in here 
Okay, right here we put a little too much, but it's totally fine. We're gonna come back over it and try to fix it, but it's fine. Okay, that's not too bad. It's literally not that bad. But, like, this just shows how pigment these, pigmented these are. I was not expecting that much product to come off the brush from just, like, one tap in there. Okay. Literally. Alright. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Now we're going to go back in with the actual, the, the big brush, and I'm going to take the banana powder, which is called Enhance. This one right here. And I'm going to kind of brush it over what I just did. Kind of even it out a little bit, blend it a little easier, and hopefully make it look a little more cohesive with my skin. My hair is wet, so this is fun. Okay, hair, bye. Wow, okay, that looks a lot better already. Cool. So the banana powder really helped. Look at me. Mm. Okay. So I just shut the palette for some reason. Now I'm also going to take, where's my, I'm going to take this big fluffy brush right here. It's brush number two. Um, It's basically BH's like all over the face powder brush. And we're going to take this shade Halo and dust it right under our eyes. Because I feel like it's going to, oh. This one is like powdery. This one flakes a little bit. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Fallout. Fallout! That's the word I've been looking for. None of the like bronzer shades have fallout and neither does this banana powder really. But Halo, which is like the brightest, lightest shade in the palette, has a little bit of fallout. Not gonna lie. I'm also gonna take that Halo powder on my chin because this is just the normal places I would use my lightest powder and right on my forehead. Alright. So, now that I've done that, I'm going to go back with our original big fluffy bronzer brush, brush number one, and take, prin <clears throat> sorry, take princess cut right here, right here, and use that to carve out my jawline. Um, I use this one because it's like a nice orangey-ish tone. You could say, but it's not too orange for me. Oops, that was almost the wrong shade. Sam, you might have messed up your whole tutorial. This isn't even a tutorial, this is a review. What am I doing with my life? not gonna lie I don't look bad this is like honestly I love this palette it gives a nice really really nice contour and bronze and tanner look to the face honestly like you could see the definition but it's not like muddy you can see it on my forehead it might be a little muddy there but it's fine because that was my fault and overall, the palette doesn't have any fallout, but it's extremely pigmented. The one shade that does have, like, a little bit of fallout is Halo, but, like, one shade out of six, it's fine, really. I highly recommend this palette. It's really, really, really nice, actually, in my opinion. Um, so let me go finish my makeup, and I will check back in with you guys in the end. Alright guys, here's the finished look. I added mascara, my brows, um, highlight, and that's about it. I'm going to show you guys in front of a window so you can get like the view within natural light. Because uh, I feel like it's a lot more telling than showing you just in like normal light. I really am digging this. This palette, again, mm, 
Mm. Okay. All right. If you're new here, my name is Sam. If you like this give video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. If you want to see more makeup videos from me, again, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But for the rest of the month of March, I will be doing a marathon and posting every single day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. The devil had a dress on So she's out of the town tonight She got a best on